Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a new DC TV show trailer that has been released. Plus also we got the Netflix premiere date of a DC spin-off show. Plus we have some more news to do with the Batman part 2. So we've got like three major pieces of news today to break down. You guys are going to be interested in all of those, I promise you. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year okay so as we all know they're obviously building dcu right now but there is other shows that are going to be in this elseworlds kind of section and that includes matt reeves's projects now of course i'm a big fan of the batman i loved it i'm sure many of you guys did obviously one of the standouts in that film was colin farrell as the penguin They've released the first teaser trailer for The Penguin, and right now all we know that it's coming out in the fall. They haven't told us a release date yet, even though I feel like they should have told us by now. I guess they're a bit hesitant with all the other projects they got going on. Some other projects getting delayed, like The Batman got delayed by over a year, so I guess they just don't want to commit to a date yet. But The Penguin trailer is great. And I'll leave a link in the description below to it, I'm sure many of you guys have watched it by now, but I wanted to discuss it at the start of this video because I love what I'm seeing. I love even just like the title cards, like seeing the next chapter in the Batman saga in that very same Batman font. Because what it says to me is, they're saying, yes, this is from the Batman, and those of you guys who are the Batman fans, you are going to want to watch this like you can't miss the penguin otherwise you won't understand or you won't get the exact continuity that is intended for fans of the batman now franchise i guess you could call it since we got the penguin and the batman 2 coming so it's just the next chapter it's like the batman 1.5 it's like the batman one and a half it's like in between that first film and what we're gonna get in like 2026 with the Batman part 2 so it's a pivotal part and I love the way that it looks I think it looks very very similar to the Batman obviously Greg Frazier didn't shoot this show but Matt Reeves is heavily involved I don't think Matt Reeves directed all the episodes but he is the showrunner he is the executive producer so he has kind of that oversight over how the project looks lots of people have been comparing this one shot in the elevator of the club and it's the exact same lighting from the Batman. So, you know, you have that visual continuity as well as the story continuing because if you guys didn't know, the Penguin is set after the Batman and it's kind of set in this world where, you know, there is this power vacuum within Gotham. That's the entirety of the end of the Batman. That's what they set up and you saw the Penguin as that kind of feature person at the end who is going to be there to pick up where everyone else left off and he's going to be the one person trying to truly grasp the power and maybe he will get that power but he's gonna run into trouble along the way and that's what we're gonna see in the penguin but also in the trailer something that i liked was the voiceover narration talking about this crime lord back when he was a kid and just talking about like how he looked up to him how when he died he had a parade and he's thinking about what it would be like to be honored like that even though you're not like the mayor or you're not someone who is like widely respected you're someone who obviously is quite a controversial figure within the community but they still paraded them because of the respect that they had for them or maybe the fear that they had for them and i feel like that's exactly what oswald wants he wants to be feared he wants to be looked up to in a way that he's never been looked up to because the penguin as a whole like that's a nickname that's because of the way he looks that's not something that he chose to be called it's really him being ridiculed and now this tv show is about the penguin taking back what is his what he believes he deserves and he thinks he needs that respect just like that crime lord who obviously influenced him when he was younger but yeah apart from that it's coming this fall there's lots of great shots in the trailer i don't really know too much about like the overall story apart from the clear narrative that the penguin is going to be going on i don't know too much about the other characters who are showing up potentially we could get a robert patterson cameo as the batman that would be great so i'm really looking forward to this show when it comes out in the fall obviously we don't have a set release date so the fall could mean a number of different months so it could be in october it could be like september it could be november I'm gonna guess it's gonna be October because that is normally what's considered like a full release date 
Of course, it could be like the end of September, the start of November. I could see it going either way. I'm not going to theorize too much about that because we're just here when we hear. But I do feel like they're going to announce the release date at least at like San Diego Comic Con in the summer. So we have a bit of an idea of what to expect next in terms of DC projects. So let's move on to the next topic. This is to do with a DC show coming to Netflix. And we've got the official premiere date of the show. It's had a trailer previously, which we talked about on the channel. This TV show is Greg Berlanti's Dead Boy Detectives. Yes, Greg Berlanti's involved, but that doesn't mean it's in the Arrowverse. It's not in the Arrowverse. It's actually set in the Sandman universe. Lots of people, to my surprise, haven't actually heard of this coming out. But Dead Boy Detectives is essentially a Sandman spin-off. Obviously, the Sandman premiered on Netflix a while ago. They've shot season two. Don't know when that's coming out. But Dead Boy Detectives is going to link into that. It's from that same comic book era. It's written by Neil Gaiman in the comics, just like The Sandman. And so the Dead Boy Detectives show is coming to Netflix. And it's going to consist of eight episodes. And it's going to premiere on Netflix on April 25th. So that is in just under a month from now. I'm recording this video on the 26th of March. So 25th of April. That is not a long time. So... I'm going to be interested in watching this show. If you guys want any coverage, let me know. If you're a Sandman fan, if you're looking forward to Dead Boy Detectives. And also let me know, have you even heard of this show? Like, yeah, I've talked about it in some videos, but potentially you guys missed some of them. I know on my live stream this week, I mentioned it to some of my co-hosts that regularly come on my streams. And some of them didn't even know this show was coming out or didn't even know about the characters and didn't even know the links to the Sandman. So I feel like it's definitely gone under the radar. Netflix, Greg Berlanti definitely have to try and put this out there a bit more. The two characters in Dead Boy Detectives actually showed up in Doom Patrol. That's a fun fact. But it's not going to be played by the same actors. It's not linked to Titans or Doom Patrol. Also, it's not linked to the Arrowverse, as I said. So it's going to be linked to the Sandman. It's going to be on Netflix. Eight episodes. The story looks good. Netflix has control of this. I guess that's because they have the Sandman. So Dead Boy Detectives was originally supposed to come out on Max. It was ordered back then to series. And then it eventually moved over to Netflix in 2023 after Max passed on the series in 2022. That was kind of back when, you know, like Warner Brothers had this huge shift and they were just throwing a bunch of shows away and obviously a bunch of films like Bat Go Away. So Dead Boy Detectives was, you know, a victim of that. But yeah, Beth Schwartz is going to be the showrunner of the show. So that is another Arrowverse link because Beth Schwartz became the Arrow showrunner back in season seven. And then she went on to co-showrun Arrow's eighth and final season with Mark Guggenheim. So there is that link as well. Also, Sarah Schechter's involved. She was an ex-executive producer along with Greg Berlanti on Supergirl. So big, big Arrowverse links. But... It's good to see them creating projects, working together, Beth Schwartz re-collaborating with Greg Berlanti on this very different project. But also Steve Yockey is the one who actually developed Dead Boy Detectives originally for television, so he's going to be co-show running along with Beth Schwartz. Okay, so let's move on to the final main topic. This is to do with the Batman Part 2. I thought I would include it in this video just because we were talking about the Penguin at the start. So the Batman Part 2... According to a report from World of Real, which I'll leave in the link in the description below so you can check out the article, they have said it's set to shoot in early 2025. That is the article title. This was just posted yesterday, so this is apparently an exclusive to them. So obviously take it with a grain of salt. It's not been confirmed by like the Hollywood Reporter or Deadline or anyone, but yeah, this is what they had to say. So after having its 2025 release date delayed to October 2nd, 2026, the Batman is supposedly set to start shooting around February or March 2025 in the UK. As of publishing this post yesterday, no script has been finalised or given to DCU head James Gunn or Matt Reeves, but you can presume Matt Reeves is writing it. And so they're taking their time with this one and for good reason, according to World of Real. So what do I make of this? Well, yeah, we know we have a big delay with the Batman Part 2 that is coming out a year later in 2026. So having the shooting pushback makes sense. Like if they start shooting around February, March 2025, so that's like a year from now or just under a year if they start shooting in February. 
that's not like too far fetched. Like I feel the screenplay will be done in the summer and then they'll get into pre production and kind of be in a similar situation to James Gunn's Superman film where they start filming around like February time and obviously they can do the pre production around the winter time. So this timeline does make sense. I feel like we could have all inferred this might be the time that they actually start filming because if it's being released in October, you know, early October in 2026, that means you know, if they go all the way around from March 2025 and they start shooting, then they have like a good chunk of time and then literally they have almost like a year and a half plus to, you know, edit the project, to color grade it, to finalize it, to promote it. They have a good period of time. Obviously, it would be nice if the Batman came sooner but it's still, you know, good enough that it's still being made, it's still being developed. Apparently the screenplay hasn't been finished because of the writing strikes and Matt Reeves wasn't able to write the project, and so that has caused it to be ultimately delayed by one year. So that pretty much does it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It would really mean a lot to me because it will help us obviously get out there in terms of the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Obviously notifications will let you know when I post. I post pretty much daily right now, so stay active on the channel. But for now, click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.